Okay, so here's what I'm doing. I've got, I put everything in the little uh, pouch for road, and since I drive around a whole lot throughout the day, I figured I'd just charge these things up in my car while I drive around. And, um, and I'm going to see how far I can get with this without going to the manual or, or downloading the software or anything like that. See how far I can get and what kind of results I can get before even touching that, just straight out of the box. So therefore, I went ahead and started charging one of the uh, transmitters here. And I got to tell you, when I first plugged it in, it was really kind of tough to get that in. It took me a few tries uh, of pushing, and I didn't want to be too forceful with it because that kind of scares me. I don't want to break it before I even get a chance to use it. And But after a few tries, it finally clicked in. It really didn't want to click all the way in. It was pretty tough. And then this little blue light up here, I don't know if you can see that good enough. Uh, I think you can. Uh, that flashed very slowly. And I wasn't really sure what that meant. I guess it means, oh yeah, here it means uh, charging right there. And then after I drove around for a couple of hours, I took another look at it. I just kind of kept it here in its pouch and I just pull it out every once in a while and gawk at it. And then I noticed the little blue light started uh, flashing faster. I guess, you know, when it flashes slow, it's low on charge. Faster means it's getting there. And as you can see now, it's solid blue, which I am have to assume means fully charged. So there we are. So this one is fully charged. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can unplug it. Very, very tough to unplug. Got it. And this is the, the uh, wire that came with it. The, and let's see what we got here. We got this little piece of tape. Oh, yeah, this is for the... Ooh, this, should I go ahead and take the, take the plastic off? Should I do it right now? I don't really see a reason to little nice protective film. I think I'm going to leave that little protective film on there and maybe the little pull tab. I'll just pull that off. Okay. So we're going to keep, I'm going to go ahead and leave the, uh, leave the protector on there because, you know, why not leave them protected? They're not exactly divided up in this little bag here and they're going to be kind of bumping into each other. And I'm not exactly crazy about that. Okay. Uh, so I'll get the other, the other transmitter here and I'll go ahead and see if I can plug that one in. And that one, it's tough. There it goes. Okay. There we go. And you can see it flashing. It means it's charging. And I'm just going to stick that little guy right back here in the pouch and seal it up. Here. I'll go ahead and seal it up. And I got the little plastic bag of access accessories in here, as well as a little silica pack just to keep everything everything nice and dry and then I'm just, I'm just gonna um, go ahead and close that back up it's plugged into my car drive around a few hours let it charge up and when I finish charging uh, the transmitter as well I'm gonna uh, I'll go ahead and plug the whole thing into the phone here and see how we do all right there you go all right well I have now charged the transmitters as well as the receiver for the wireless go 2. And I have also grabbed a couple of lavalier mics from a very old Audio-Technica system and their mono connections. And uh, I use when I use my adapter on my phone, since it's, it's weird, it, I have to kind of put it all the way in and then kind of uh, pull it out a little bit till it gets right between the two connections or something in order for it to work. So a little, I'm not really sure if I'm going to keep them or not. I'm going to see if they work properly in this. But uh, what I wanted to show you was once I added the lavalier mics into the bag, the bag wouldn't close at all. It was already a tight squeeze with all the accessories and everything, but the little uh, neoprene bag, it just wouldn't close. So what I did, I had a little black satchel at home, and so I went ahead and did that and put some Velcro around it, and I labeled it so I know what the heck's in there. And I want to show you what else I did here. And, you know, it's really too bad. It would be nice if the satchel, like, was actually able to hold everything, you know? But, uh, let's see, I'll open this up here. It's from an old, old pair of lights. So, I've got my, my old lavalier mics, and as you can see, the connections on them, just mono. It's just tip sleeve. <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to see if I can just plug and play that. If not, I'll get rid of them at a yard sale. Um, the accessories that came with it are right here. Uh, 
and as far as the neoprene bag, it now just holds the two transmitters and the receiver in it. You know, it's nice and nice and tight that way. But I did something else too, and this is really cool. And one thing you might want to think about, and something I wish Rode had done, and that is I created a little foam insert for them so that so that these would all and put little cushions between them so that these things wouldn't be banging into each other. They just sit there and they just clip right on there. And I'll show you how I made that. Uh, just cut a piece of foam out, as you can see from the bottom, a little piece of foam there. Then I put some foam balls there, uh, just rolled some foam right there, and then I put a little strip of tape over to hold them in place. Then I came back with some tape and I just went right over the top of it, being very careful, and around the back of it, and then I, you know, I trimmed it all up with some scissors and everything, and uh, it works really well. All right, now uh, we're going to cut away here, and I'm going to come right back, and I'm going to see, because I'm trying to see how far I can get without referring to the manual, see just how user-friendly these can be without the software, without the manual, anything, if I can connect these guys to this and pair them up without any help or any guidance and we're going to see just how intuitive this thing is don't go away i'll be right back okay so here i have the receiver and i'm going to do my best to see well first i'll fire it up there's nothing on here that says this is the on button i'm going to guess that's it i did turn it on last night but i can't remember what i did so i'm going to guess i press and hold that until it comes on because uh, you have the volume thing here, and then you have transmitter one, transmitter two, pairing button over here. So what volume you want it at, and then the pairing. So I'm going to guess that I'm going to hold, press and hold this right here. See if I can long pressing the top one. It looks like something's coming alive. And yeah, there we're alive. Okay, I don't know which one is one and which one's two, and I'm not really sure it matters. So uh, I guess we're gonna, I'm gonna press this button over here till we get something. Uh, it's a little tough. Okay, now w the first one is kind of highlighted here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and turn one of these guys on and I'm gonna guess that's gonna be the on button right there. I'm gonna just guess. And, and, and it looks like we are paired. I have no idea, is this recording, is it not recording, I don't know. So I'm going to see what, I'm going to set this one down, and I'm going to see what happens when I turn on this, the other one here, okay? And then I'm going to plug it into the phone and see what happens. So, okay, oh look, both of them are paired and going. It was just that easy. Now that's pretty cool. That uh, I, I love brain dead easy stuff. Okay, my next test is I'm going to plug the receiver into my phone that I'm recording on right now, and we're going to see what happens. Okay. All right. Oh, I'm I'm putting my thumb over that. I'm, I wonder what what you know. <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay. Be right back. Okay, so here I am, and I'm going to show you what I'm going to be using. Uh, this is the adapter that came with it. It's really just a, just a cable, and one end will go into the receiver. The other end is going into my little adapter here because there's no headphone jack on my phone. I got a, a Google Pixel, and I think in the future I'm going to make sure that whatever I get has a headphone jack. So I'm going to plug that in here. Let's see here. Still got little bouncy levels there and uh, da, 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 this appears to be it it's a circle with a little arrow but it's the only thing this fits into so that's got to be it. it is not so make it uh, stand to be a little better on this so I'm gonna cut away here plug this in and then we're gonna go from there and I don't know if you're catching this or not uh, but Here's what's going on. I'm, I'm there. I've got a signal. I'm plugging this in, but my phone is not recognizing a lavalier mic. 
So I may need yet another adapter, the TRRS adapter. Okay, so I have a USB-C input on my Pixel phone. And uh, plugging this into here, and then into my little adapter right here, and then into the phone, did not work. Uh, so I do have another little like adapter thingy at home, but I didn't bring it with me. So I will tell you this off the bat didn't work. But uh, ultimately, I'm not really planning to use it too much with that. But uh, I'm going to have to add another little uh, dongle in between here. And you know, what a mess. But, you know, that's the way we're rolling. I, I wish that Rode would have provided a tip ring ring sleeve. That would have made, that would have just made sense, wouldn't it? Wouldn't that have made sense? All right, well, back to the drawing board. But what we've at least accomplished is we see that these are very, very easy to pair with one another, and that's a good thing. So uh, some good, some bad. Back to the drawing board. I'll check you later, see if we can get this lavalier going into this phone. Okay, I, I think I may have a hypothesis on this. I think this is just supposed to be a headphone port out, so you can monitor directly from here. Uh, but I would think it would still work. Uh, didn't work for me. Uh, I'm wondering if this USB-C, if I connect USB-C, get a, a double-sided USB-C, if that would send the signal. I don't know. I'm going to see if I can do this without referring to the manual. Then I'll refer to the manual and figure out, you know, how I'm really supposed to use it. All right. I am back for another go at this thing. I went home and I got this doohickey, which I picked up at Radio Shack. It's a TRRS and it's got a microphone input and a headphone input right there. And yes, I got it from Radio Shack. We have a Radio Shack near us. Aren't you jealous? And uh, so, and of course, Radio Shack doesn't label which is which, so I had to label it myself. This is microphone, and that's that. So now we're going to take the supplied cable from Rode, the TRS, and we're going to plug it into the microphone input, and we're going to hope that works. And we're going to plug this end into the output of the Rode receiver. And the other end, the USB-C, into my phone and see if it recognizes the lavalier microphone. And then after that, we are going to try one other experiment. If we, whether we get that working or not, just because I want to see if this works. If I can go directly USB-C to USB-C, I have a cable, which is both ends are USB-C. I want to try it to see if going to the USB-C will do it. I don't know. We're going to find out. Okay, you can see they are paired. You see the little bouncy light on? Do, 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 do. Pop, pop. So now I am going to. I had them all connected wrong before, but got. I'm uh, going to connect that into the output on the road. All right, there we are. And then I'm going to shut off the camera because I don't know if it'll do it while I'm recording. And then I'll come back. I'm going to plug this into the USB-C outlet. Yeah, yeah. This is it's just too much junk. You know, it, it's just too much. But uh, but hey, that's what we're here for. We're gonna give it a shot here. Okay. Well, when I plugged that in, it did say that the microphone was working. Of course, I have no idea what quality we've got, what it sounds like, any of that stuff. But right now, my phone is indicating that the microphone is working. So the USB-C adapter uh, and the, the little middle thingy from Radio Shack and then this thing into the little headphone out. All right, so now we've determined that is the right connection. Uh, next, I'm going to see if we can come out of the USB-C port of this into the, directly into the USB-C port of my phone and see if I can get that to work. Okay, now I did actually just listen back to that and it sounded like the gain was a little hot even though I did not have that like right up to my mouth. Uh, it sounded uh, really hot and so I probably will have to go in the settings. Oh, I can go in the settings right here 
and I can duck that down. And I think I definitely, definitely will be doing that. It does appear that the gain is all the way up on this, but that's not the experiment we're doing right now anyway. So into the USB-C here. Might just be to, you can have a little battery and keep the dang thing charged while you're going. And I'm gonna then plug this USB-C into the other, other end and we're gonna see if that'll work. I don't think it's gonna work, but you never know, might get surprised. Well, I gotta tell you, I am surprised because when I came from the USB-C out into the USB-C in, I did get the indicator that my phone was recognizing an external mic. Now that's pretty cool. All right, so I'm going to see how that sounds. And the last thing I'm going to do before I end this experiment is I'm going to see if I can uh, duck down the gain on this thing and see if I can get a better sound. All right. All right, I'm tapping on that just as a test. Listening back to what I just did where I'm just coming out of the USB-C into the USB-C, the gain did not sound overly distorted. I'm going to take a wild guess and say that the reason for that is probably because that little output is also got some extra power to it uh, to so that for listening back, whereas the USB-C is more line level. I'm not really sure, but okay, this is with the USB-C and then I'm going to compare that without touching anything, without adjusting any gain. The gain hasn't been touched yet. What, it, what the difference is between that and coming out of the headphone port. Okay. And this is about the same distance, the same level of speaking coming out of the headphone port. What's the difference in the gain structure? I don't know. I got to tell you, there's a lot more rigmarole coming out of the headphone port than taking a USB-C to USB-C. So I think that's the method I'm going to be using regardless. <laughs> okay, so I'm about to do my final in the vehicle test here uh, as far as what I can do right here. And I've got a couple of these old lavalier microphones, old Audio Technica from uh, what a DA88, I think it's called or something like that. Or I, I forget what it, it's an old Audio Technica system, but it's got this type of connector here see it's just tip sleeve and that caused me problems trying to connect via the uh, dongles that I used to have with my phone so what I'm I've already determined that it catches the signal I did that at home last night I couldn't really wait to do this so uh, but I have no idea how it sounds but I do know that it does catch the signal so here's uh here I've got it plugged into the transmitter here and here, here's the Yeah, you see the level bounce when I do that? Okay, so now I'm going to connect this to my phone, and then we can see if it sounds any good or if I need to take this thing and uh, sell it at my yard sale next week. Okay, I have determined that my external mic is on. Uh, I don't really have a clip for this, so I'm just kind of holding it where it would normally be, not too far. And testing one, two, three. This is the, uh, the better of the two lavalier mics that I had from my old system and uh, they're testing one, two, three, and I've got another one that's kind of a junky one. I'm gonna see how that sounds. Then I can listen back here and I can see uh, if I keep them or chuck them. All right, and this is uh, the more, uh, I guess, well, this, the microphone's on top. The other one, it would be, it was kind of on the side. And this is kind of the cheaper, junkier one. Testing one, two, three. It's talking in a normal voice here at a reasonable distance from my mouth to see how the junkier one does. Am I going to keep it or sell it at the yard sale? Well, we're about to find out.